display notches. Love them or hate them, we can all agree that the quest to eliminate bezels and push ever closer to that mythical 100% screen to body ratio in a smartphone is in fact stimulating a lot of innovation. From hidden cameras that pop up when you're using them to using vibrating glass as your speaker. But the one feature that we have in our hands today that seems, to me at least, less like a gimmick and more like the new paradigm moving forward is FOD or fingerprint on display. With the latest example of this technology right here on the 6T from OnePlus. So they reached out to sponsor a video all about this new fingerprint scanning technology and how exactly it works. So let's unlock its secrets. Oh no, that's just, we're just unlocking the phone. There's no secrets. Sorry, wait, just hold, hold on a sec. Okay, first things first, definitions. Ever since the first FOD prototypes showed up at CES 2018, people have erroneously been calling them in-screen fingerprint readers. But technically speaking, these implementations are actually under-screen fingerprint readers. So with an underscreen scanner, like the one in the OnePlus 6T, there's the glass, then the AMOLED display panel, then the fingerprint reader. An in-screen reader would be a technology we don't actually have yet, where the scanner would actually be integrated within the display panel, which would presumably allow large areas of the screen or even the entire screen to read your fingerprint, enabling ideas like multi-finger authentication or even continuous authentication where the device never stops reading your fingerprint throughout an entire session or transaction. That's really fun to think about, but let's bring it back to the present day because even this would have seemed pretty sci-fi a few short years ago. Something that's especially mind-boggling considering that OnePlus themselves have been experimenting with this technology in their labs since back in 2017, when they had actually intended to include it in the OnePlus 5T. As for why that never happened, OnePlus says the tech just wasn't ready yet. The hardware was larger, taking up precious space inside the phone, and that module actually had to be bonded onto the screen, increasing the cost and the complexity of repairs. More importantly for the user though, they felt that the first gen scanner just wasn't fast enough or consistent enough to ship with a OnePlus logo attached. Now, two phone generations later, the 6T uses a newer, smaller fingerprint module from Goodix that OnePlus says is the fastest in the industry, unlocking the phone in just 0.36 seconds. Unlike the capacitive fingerprint scanners that most of us are used to, the 6T uses an optical scanner. So the phone's display is actually used to shine a light at your finger. Apparently they got the best results with green light. And then the reflected light that reaches the fingerprint sensor creates an image of your fingerprint's minutia, the distinctive ridges, valleys, and forks that comprise your unique fingerprint. The scanned image is then compared to the fingerprint that was stored in your Snapdragon CPU's Trust Zone, which is analogous to an iPhone's Secure Enclave, back when you first trained your fingerprint model. Self-learning algorithms help compare your minutia to the saved image more quickly, and if there's a match, the phone unlocks, lickety split. And now for some rapid fire Q&A from some guy. Is it durable? Yeah, it's rated for 300,000 unlocks. Is that a lot though? That's about like unlocking your phone 150 times a day for five years. What if I have a screen protector? Then uh, that will not affect it at all. Okay, smart guy, what if I have a bunch of scratches or even a crack on my screen? Okay, now we're getting into your mileage may vary territory. If you have a small crack, then it probably won't affect it. If you have a bigger crack, then it's probably a good idea to train the model with the crack already there. And if you have a really big crack, well, then uh, you should go to the gym. Well, see you later. So in summary, this is something that I've been particularly amped about because even way back when the first phone started showing up with fingerprint scanners on the back, I've been looking at that going, wow, I hate this, I hate everything about it because I use my phone sitting on the desk in front of me an awful lot, whether it's to browse through notifications, swipe them away, or whatever the case may be. And having a fingerprint scanner on the front allows me to pick up my phone less, which I don't know about you guys, but for me is definitely a quality of life improvement. So being able to just go like this, 
go, yes, that's important, no, it's not, type it, tap, and be done. Huge improvement, absolutely love it. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to OnePlus for sponsoring this video. If you guys disliked it, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like the one I'm wearing, and our community forum, which you should totally join. Did I train this finger? Oh, I did. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> thanks, some guy.